What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Z and Abs as Abs. Today we're working on this beast of a motor, it's a BMW E93 and it's looking sorry with the Abs. What engine have we got in this? Uh, we've got the N53 B38. N53 B38. So the issue we're having with this car right now at the moment is it's got a huge misfire. So we've done a compression test, and which we'll show you right now. That's it. First one was 75. That's it. This is a uh, round of 90. Third run. Gone. That's it. 75. This is a Ford Slinder. That's it. That's 110. Okay, and this is the fifth cylinder. Yep. That's it. That's 110, 105. Going to this compression test, it's low on compression from the first cylinder and then it goes up and up and up. So average would be between 90 and 100 when it should be between 90 to 120. The first thing I believe is 75 PSI compression. So instead of getting the engine rebuilt or uh, or changed, we did a we obviously put it on computer and we got some codes. So on. here's the codes right now. These are the codes that's coming up with right now. And uh, Abs, you want to sell the rest? Yeah. So basically, we um, spoke to a really good mate. He's a good mechanic and he knows about his beamers. Um, we spoke to him. We showed him a bit of videos or, um, and he said it's 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 a Venus. It's definitely a Venus. Um, but it's all being done to the Venus solenoids of today. And we've seen a trick, obviously, from YouTube itself, where people take them out, clean them, and then put them back in. So we're going to try that, see if that works. And if not, at least then you know with this video we can learn, and so you guys can learn. It might not be this; it could be the main Venus thing. And it's very cost-effective. It's only about a five pound job. You need a uh, ten mil uh, socket set with the wrench, and you need either a carb cleaner or a brake cleaner. So uh, nevertheless, let's get so. It's uh, luckily half the car is already stripped for us. Uh, as you can see, there's no top cover. There's nothing at the front here for the air box. This is uh, loose. And yep, there they are. There they are. So you've got two electrical plugs with the there's metal clips and you just uh, show it from here. Just push them in and that should disconnect the electrical uh, connectors. And then you've got 10 mil bolt there and a 10 mil bolt above here. And then uh, you just uh, somehow wiggle them out. Should we start cracking on? Yep, let's get cracked. You do is Ooh, a bit trickier. There you go. That's one, and that's two. See, so just remember which goes where. So there you go. Once you've done that, just uh, turn wheel, move the other side underneath, even just away from everything. <laughs> now for the second one. All right, so we've uh, taken the bolts off and uh, now we just need to take the uh, solenoid off. So, Abs will demonstrate it. So he's wiggling it. As you can see, wiggle, 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 and there you go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. And the uh, make sure that these come off with it. That they don't, don't drop these. These are the seals, the O-rings. The O-rings are in that. One there. Perfect. So the next step would be to clean these bad boys. And there you go. That's uh, after cleaning the solenoids and look and nice and clean the look. So the only thing we have to do now is wait until they dry up, so we can put it back. This is how you test it. You got the negative, on the left side. You're gonna get a probe. Connect it to the battery and you're gonna touch it and that's your positive. And then once you click positive, you should a click noise once this car goes by. Okay, now it's quiet, you can hear it. And that would indicate okay. that your solenoid works. And the next one. As you give it a positive uh, crunch, 
you can hear that clicking noise because it opens and closes all right so we got the vena solenoids in there we got all the spark plugs in there and we clean them up so the only thing next to do is put the uh, coil packs back in and then fire it up 